Hi, Shinoshi Miller here from Warrior Concepts, and we're going to take a look at another Ninpo Taijutsu lesson today. This one regarding the use of footwork, leg work, okay? That kind of thing. One of the primary principles I'm sure you're aware of at this point is that a ninja always moves on bent knees, right? Our knees are always bent, flexing, able to move things around. But one of the most common problems that I see in students uh, of all ranks, in, in students uh, Taijutsu, is that they're not moving their legs correctly. Specifically, they're not focused on moving on and, and bending their knees when they move. Okay? Now, upon talking to a lot of these people, I found that there is a problem. There's a, there's a huge difference between what they know they should be doing, what they think they should be doing, and what they're actually doing. Okay? So here's what I see quite often. Okay? Here's, I'm going to show you these two different people, all right? And you tell me which one you think is moving much more gracefully, effectively, efficiently. This is usually what I see when people are moving around. Okay, they've got their kamae and they're moving, even if they're moving quickly or whatever, okay? And then here's the second one. Okay? So the difference here is, and I want you to watch from here to here, okay? The difference is that a lot of people are moving on what I call positionally bent knees. They have bent their knees, and they may even initiate some bending, but at some point they stop the bending, and that's where their legs stay. So they end up with something like this. Okay? And then when they go to move again, see, the knees really aren't moving a whole lot. This is in stark contrast to what we should be doing, which is moving on bending the knees bending. Watch. From here, the knee moves. It's active. It's at, they're active. Okay? When we're striking, okay? it's not this. It's not this. Okay? It's this. Okay? It's not this. It's this. Okay. The knees stay in motion, they stay active, keep your legs straight. If you haven't been doing this for a while, your leg muscles and your butt muscles are going to hate you and you're going to hate me. But get over the hate, get the training correct, get, the more, get more power in your tie too. and uh, I'll see you in the next lesson. Hey, Shidoshi Miller here from Warrior Concepts, and I want to make an offer to you. It's not going to cost you anything. If you want to get some really reliable information, I've got this free ebook that's available over on the website. The information is right down there at the bottom of your screen. Go on over to the website, click on the link, pick up this ebook that's called Becoming the Master. And what it does is it walks you through step by step the, uh, the skill areas and the, the progression of going through these different levels of mastery in a logical, rational sense. Instead of just kind of going to class and picking things up and bouncing around, this really provides a lot of uh, outline and structure. So if you're looking for some structure and some, some, some logic to your training to really be able to move things along, to have more control over your training, okay, get the ebook, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.